Hey guys, so this video is for your to help you pass your AMP, your airframe and power plant test, and for your orders and practicals, uh, your OMP as well. So what you need to do, what you need to have, or the textbooks you need to have, and the materials you would like, you would need, are basically for your general technician, the test guide with the orals and the practical study guide, it's right here. You'll also have to have um, the airframe technician uh, text textbook with the test guide with the orals and the practical study guide as well. And as well, you're gonna also need the power plant technician. That's right there. And also comes with the, you know, the test guide with the orals and the practical study guide. And these books are very helpful, especially when you're going to take the test after you're done with school, for sure. After you're done with school, you're going to, in order for you to take your writtens, you're going to have to, so your book contains all the answers and questions on the writtens. And for you to take your writtens, you're going to have requirements and so to bring, you're going to have to bring. Uh, you're gonna have to bring your current ID, uh, completion of um, certificate or graduate certificate. But if you don't have that, which is which is your certificate, then you can have an, um, I think it's apprenticeship program or something like that where you work and you get experience and then the company gives you, I guess, a form or document saying that, you know, you you've been working for 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 so for so long, and you do definitely do have to have I think eighteen months of you know of experience, uh, if just to take one rating. Uh, I think it, I think the general and the airframe, or if not the general and the power plant, but thirty months to take all of it. So you definitely have to have some experience in order for you to take the test. So you could do that, and I think that's pretty good. I think that makes sense because they want to make sure you know your stuff. So yeah, so the things you have to bring. If you don't have your ID, which is current, which with your ma mailing address, signature, uh, I guess picture, pho photograph, um, which is your ID, or at least you can bring your driver's license. Maybe that might have your current address and all your current information. If you don't have that, um, I ended up going to the DMV to, you know, get all my current stuff, so I didn't have any problem. Uh, you can, uh, you can definitely, I guess, you know, get a, I don't know, a billing address of or a bill that has your actual address and everything. I think they might accept it. I wouldn't know, but I think they might. Um, if you don't have that. You can also use your passport. Um, also, it has to be current or a green card. You can also use that. Uh, government IDs. Um, you can use your military ID card as well. Um, so after you have all those things and you bring them, um, I think you, you're going to have to fill out a 1080-2 or 1080-something-2 form you're gonna have to fill it out then after that the FAA is gonna approve it saying that you can take the test and after you are basically ready to take your test um, I do know this the general has 60 questions on the computerized um, you know test and airframe has a hundred questions on the computerized test so you're definitely gonna have to know that um, power plant has a hundred questions and in total it's like 260 questions that you're gonna have to you know you're gonna have to know I'm hoping that you won't have to memorize them that's too, too much to, to memorize but if you know it that's great because you're gonna have to need it um, the Jeppesons does a great job 
uh, keeping everything current, up to date, the latest, uh, you know, things that the uh, test will ask you on questions on, it has the answers. And also uh, on the orals and the practicals, it does the same. Um, so if you're having basically, you know, if you have nobody to quiz you, uh, Jefferson gives you this thing. It's like a what sliding mask, and it helps you. You know, you know. Basically, you, you'll you'll answer. You, basically, you have the question right here, and you'll just read the question. Then after that, you'll give yourself a couple of uh, seconds. And if you don't know it, then it's okay to you know just to read it. But if you but you know just quiz yourself. Uh, I recommend you just read it. You know just to, to see if you. I guess memorize it but later on hopefully you 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 know you, you know it um but if you like it yeah i guess you can memorize it will be i guess some some somewhat easy it's 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 gonna be on the computer it should be it should be a piece of cake it should be easy um i don't have any trouble trying to do this by myself i actually have you know someone to, to quiz me so that's what i did and for your orals and your practicals, for your orals and your practicals, they are in the back of the book. And it says here all the information that you're going to need in order to take the test. It has all the stuff right here. It has all the things that you're gonna have to, um, to know in order to be eligible to take your orals and your practicals. It says right here you have to be 18 at least be at least 18 be able to read and write speak and understand the english language have passed all the prescribed airmen uh, knowledge exams within a period of 24 i guess calendar months uh comply with other applicable regulations of part 65 as detailed below it's, it gives you all this information and this book is amazing it's a good material to have good resource to read to make sure that you know that you go there with confidence you just pass a test and you say yeah because you know the, the tests are expensive they're more expensive than this book right here <laughs> just, these books cost me I think I bought these books at Amazon I ended up getting I saw these books for like okay 20 bucks or 20 25 I bought these three books for 50 bucks I said you know what I'm just gonna buy the three books I saved money so that's what I did yes they're very helpful to know I do need to take my orals and practicals I'm definitely gonna pay for it because my orals and practicals are expensive I've heard it's like $800 a test or 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 somewhere around the ballpark it's like 400 600 something like that this book tells you you know where to look for a dme a designated mechanic examiner and it tells you uh for the faa where to the book the the, the where to look for a dme and the, the faa helps you with that and so the chapters are right here like i said all the way in the back and the chapters on the general uh, this one says it has maybe I think 14 14 chapters let me check yeah it's well it looks like it has like 15 chapters on the general it says what areas will I be studied on so should I do this? One, mathematics. Two, physics. Three, basic electricity. Four, aircraft drawings. Five, weight and balance. Six, aircraft, structural materials. Seven, air aircraft, hardware. Eight, hand tools and measuring devices. Nine, fuel lines and fittings. Ten, non-destructive testing. Eleven, cleaning and corrosion. Twelve, ground handling and servicing. Thirteen, maintenance, publications, forms and records. Fourteen, Mechanic privileges and limitations. Let me show it to you. Okay. It has 14 questions. Maybe you can study up on it. This is a good book to have. 
Um, this oh, Jeppesen airframe. How many chapters does this one have? Why? Let me check. Maybe I can. Uh, this one goes all the way to, up to uh, chapter seventeen. Yeah, air worth aircraft worthiness inspections. Um, this one has. Let me see chapters. How many chapters it has? It says you're gonna be. Uh, what areas will I be tested on? Right there. It says what areas will I be tested on? It has all the way up to 16. I guess I'll read them to you. It says, one, aircraft assembly and rigings, two, sheet metal structures, three, wood uh, structures, four, aircraft welding, five, aircraft coverings, five, again, aircraft finishes, six, aircraft electrical systems, seven, Hydraulic and pneumatic power systems eight aircraft handling uh, aircraft landing gear systems nine position and warning systems ten aircraft instrument systems eleven communications and navigation systems twelve ice and rain control system thirteen cabin atmospheric control systems fourteen did I say four thirteen fourteen aircraft fuel systems fifteen fire protect protection system 16 airframe inspections which I think that might be a typo anyways um, so it gives you on airframe all the chapters you will be studied on yeah let's check power plant all right so power plant has chapters also in the back also if you guys want to study on your own you guys can do this, you know, study on your own, read the question, take a couple seconds and answer the question and hopefully you get it right. And if you don't, it's okay. You can keep doing it until you get it right. Let's see how many questions, how many chapters. Power plant has, looks like 13, 13 chapters, 14 chapters. Power plant, uh, troubleshooting, general questions. Hmm. Last. Okay, let's see how many chapters you will be tested on. Uh, okay. Chapters I will be tested on ch 16 chapters. The chapters I will be tested on. And these are the chapters. It goes all the way to 16. Yeah, I can, uh, I'm gonna read this to you guys. Okay. Uh, one, aircraft assembly and rigging. Two, sheet metal structures. Three, wood structures. Four, is this the same book? Yes, okay. Uh, four, aircraft weldings. Five, <laughs> aircraft coverings. Are you sure power plant? Okay. Aircraft coverings. Uh, five again. Aircraft finishes. Six. Aircraft electrical systems. Seven. Hydraulic and pneumatic power systems. Eight. Aircraft landing gear systems. Did I read this already? Nine. Position and warning systems. Ten. Um, aircraft instrument systems. Eleven. Communications and navigation systems. Twelve. Ice and rain control systems. 13 cabin atmosphere control systems 14 aircraft fuel systems 15 fire protection system 16 airframe inspections so this book basically has all the information all the things that you will need to bring so you can take the test where to take the test uh what you will be studied on sorry about that the light went off um well, you where you you're gonna be taking the test also for your practicals uh, what about my practicals uh, they're also in the book I'll show them to you right now um, 
So the practicals are basically after the chapter. So they say this, chapter one. After you read all this and whatever, you're done. It goes from there to this. There's a practical test after the chapter. There's a practical test, which is right here. And it gives you all the things that you will uh, probably end up doing on the practicals. And I think that's pretty amazing because Jeppesen's just making sure that we pass. You know, it's just trying to make it easy for us. It's trying to make sure that we're knowledgeable when we take our test, you know. We have no trouble, you know, making sure that we pass. And I think this book is definitely 100% worth buying. Yes, it's expensive. But I, like I said, I ended up buying this in a combo. Like, the whole set. I ended up getting all these three books. Is it too heavy? Yes, it's heavy to take it to school. Luckily, I don't have to take all three. I could just take one at a time. Because one for each class. We have three classes. General, Airplane, and Power Plant. And yes, you need to have uh, good textbooks, good materials, good resources to where to find the answers and all that stuff. Uh, for your DME, he's going to ask you questions and he's, he's expecting, if you don't know the answer, he's hoping or he wants to know that you know. He wants... He wants you to, to, if anything, describe the part, um, to elaborate, to make sure, to I guess to, uh, to make sure interpolate, to make sure that you know, at least the part. If you if you for some reason for forget the word which is like sensitive altimeter or a ther thermal therm thermal setting. Or, or some one word uh, hydroponic or something hydro hyd hydrometer or something a word and you can't think in the top of the head for that moment you forget uh, he's gonna want at least for you to describe it you know it's like oh you take out you know a sample from it you measure the you know the this and then you know you that's how you know that you know this, this and that he's gonna want you to describe it and stuff like that if he was gonna want you to know how it works at least and once he knows how it works because you, you 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 tell him how it works and you know you have a good idea how it works he's gonna know he's gonna be like okay well i know what you mean you can show it to him maybe on a drawing and he was like oh well this is the part you know i know how it looks like he might pass you. He might just be like, I know what you're talking about. You know, I, I, I get it. Maybe you might not know the word right right now, but you can describe it really well. Just, so yeah, you, he'll probably pass you. He'll be like, okay, next question. And I think that's pretty cool. So this is a good resource to have. You don't have to memorize the, all the questions as long as you have a good solid knowledge of how it works and you know you read up on it and stuff like that these books are very good to have Jeps Jeppesen made really good books um I actually used to take well I, I still take uh, a lot of tests at, at school every almost every almost every three weeks we take tests it's nothing school is nothing about the school is just about tests all tests every almost every week test test so i think this is a very good thing to have especially when it comes to this um i'm guessing this um, hopefully this video has been helpful okay uh take care guys hopefully you pass your all your tests